A full thickness corneal transplant is a PKP, or penetrating keratoplasty. PKPs are performed for corneal problems that involve either the deep layers or all layers of the cornea. Examples of these types of problems are corneal dystrophies like macular, lattice, granular, and Fuchs dystrophies, deep corneal vascularization involving the visual axis, or old or long-standing deep corneal scars, as well as severe bacterial, fungal, viral, or parasitic infections like this case of acanthamoeba keratitis. Cases of central corneal thinning with threatened perforation or ectasias such as keratoconus and some cases of severe peripheral corneal thinning can also be indications for PKP. In full thickness corneal transplants, the patient's diseased cornea is removed with a circular blade called a tree fine. A cornea from someone who has died and donated it is then sewn into place with nylon stitches. The corneas are tested to make sure they are healthy, clear, and free of infectious pathogens. The surgery is typically outpatient. You may be performing many normal daily activities within a day or two of surgery, but it takes approximately six months of healing time for the eye to be ready for a contact lens and visual rehabilitation. As compared to partial thickness corneal transplants, PKPs have the advantages of no risk of interface haze, less likely early failure, reliable placement, and full thickness removal of scars. When compared to partial thickness corneal transplants, PKPs have the disadvantages of weaker wound healing, longer time of wound healing, increased need for contacts to correct vision after surgery, and increased risk of rejection. It's important to remember that corneal graft rejection can occur at any time after PKP for the rest of your life. The acronym RSVP can be used to remember the signs of rejection, redness, sensitivity to light, vision decreased, or pain. If you experience any of these symptoms, you should immediately contact and visit your eye care provider for an exam and treatment in approximately 20% of cases of graft rejection. The rejection leads to graft failure requiring repeat surgery. By catching graft rejection early, the cornea can return to being clear and continue to provide good vision. If properly cared for, PKPs can last for years and even decades.